what is up youtube knife community back again today guys uh got a short little review that i'm gonna do on these knives and i'm gonna give you a uh edge retention test results for all three of these okay so this has been in the works for a little bit uh dave hit me up one day and we were talking about this knife here this is a cold cold steel pro light in 4116 it's a german stainless steel and uh he had had this rockwell tested and it came back just a little bit under what we think it should be actually a whole lot under what we think it should be so that prompted me to buy a couple of my own so i got a uh pro light taunt or pro light clip point in black and i got a uh pro light tonto in black um so yeah i wanted to uh get a couple more data points on the 4116 and uh so i sent my two to kurt for hrc testing and um i just got done testing all these knives uh cut testing okay so uh the parameters same as always one inch section of blade i tape off the rest uh sharpen all three of these to uh all three of these are uh 17 degrees per side and i'll show you why here in just a second but uh 1500 grit 17 degrees per side and uh here's the reason for the 17 degrees per side they get very thick at the tip you see that uh how bad the bevel widens out which it doesn't really bother me but uh i just wanted to keep them not as crazy wide and one of them is actually uh the primary grinds are off a little bit so there's the edges on them as you can see here on this blue one this is the one that's off a little bit uh this is dave's knife dave martell djm blades on instagram but as you see there how wide that tip is and then this side isn't so bad and if you take a look down on the knife right here you can see that the primary kind of tell that the primary grinds are different uh it's hard to see it really uh but you'll have to trust me it is i'm trying to get a shot where you can tell it anyway the primary grinds are off a little bit so uh anyway i stayed at 17 degrees per side on these three and uh these are excellent knives i'm, I'm telling you i really like these knives they're good lightweight knives uh, uh, uh make a great beater for anybody you know uh a good toolbox knife or uh trucks truck knife you know leave it in your console or whatever use it for the dirty jobs these knives are like right at 20 bucks blade hq has sale on them at the time i bought my two and i got two of them shipped to me for like uh 43 dollars or something like that i can't remember exact but uh so i had got two of them for like 40 bucks anyway those uh that's a great price on them. They're definitely worth that money. Here's a size comparison. There's the Spyderco Shaman. And I'll... Oops, sorry guys. Oops, sorry about that. And I'll throw up a pair of three for a size comparison. So that's about where you're at. Uh, let's see, I might have... Yeah, okay, here I've got an Ontario Rat 1 that I can throw down. And give you another size comparison there. So a little bit smaller than the Rat 1 and a little bit smaller than the Shaman, Shaman, whatever you want to say. So uh, they're a decent size knife. And uh, yeah, the steel didn't perform as terrible as I thought it would. So anyway, like I said, what prompted this was this knife. Dave had it uh, Rockwell tested and it came back at 51.9. I think Cold Steel lists the average range or their target range at uh, 55 to 56 or something like that. Or 55 to 57, I think, is what the range is. So, uh, as you know, 51.9 is pretty much unacceptable. That's pretty low. So, uh, I understand why he got upset about that. Um, so, this one is 51.9. And the Tonto is... 55.6 so you're looking at a range of about four points on hrc scale difference between those two and then the black 
uh, yeah, the black uh, clip point is 55.8. So 55.6, 55.8, and 51.9 Rockwell on these three knives. So the, yeah, there's a big difference. And as I said, I can understand why Dave got a little upset about that. So uh, how good do these knives do? All right, on a one inch section of blade, the blue clip point cut 86 feet fine edge. That's all that is shaved for 86 feet, cutting against cardboard. And then the working edge, I added another 26 feet to that. And it brought the grand total of to 112.66 feet. Total 112.66. Okay, so uh, then the Tonto is the next up. The okay 51.9 and then 55.6 here, and the Tonto cut 106 feet fine, 36 feet working edge, and the total is 142.6. So there's a difference of about 30 feet there between this and this. And then the blue or the black clip point is the hardest at 55.8. And it cut 120 fine, another 26 feet working edge, and brought the grand total to 146. So 112 overall total, 142 total, and 146 total. So uh, there's a difference between these two knives, the two black ones, the difference is only uh, four feet. And the difference between these two is 30 feet. Okay, so you add on about 30 feet for four more points of HRC. Will you tell that in daily use? I Probably, probably so. So, uh, it would have been real nice to see uh, see them get that one a little bit harder. So uh, what does what does this 4116 compare to? Okay, I'm going to give you two more test results. And this is older test results. Where I tested an Ontario Rat 1 in D2. And an Ontario Rat 1 in OS 8. The working edge for the uh, D2 was 126.5, and the working edge for the OS-8 is 155. Okay, so the difference between the best rat that I've ever tested in OS-8 and these three knives here is about 20 feet. Okay, so I don't think you would tell 20 feet in your everyday carry just cutting stuff and going on you know your normal day your normal everyday life i don't think you'd ever notice that so um to me this 4116 definitely compares to the d2 and the os8 that is in the rats now we all know that ontario does a pretty damn good job on os8 and their d2 is every once in a while it's questionable uh, and you don't have to take my word for it. Go watch Gerald from Outpost 76 and go watch Super Steel Steve. Uh, they've came up with about the same kind of results that I have with the OS 8 and the D2. The OS 8 outperforms D2. But um, with that being said, uh, the results isn't disgusting on the blue on the blue clip point, but. Uh, it's still, you know, it, they could have done a lot better job with the knife. So, uh, I'm very, very, very surprised with how good this, uh, this steel does. I mean, it surprised the crap out of me. I wasn't expecting it to even come close to OS 8, but it did. So, uh, these knives are definitely, in my opinion, worth 20 bucks. So, uh, let's get some measurements real quick. You're looking at a three and an eighth inch cutting edge. You're looking at a four and a five eighths handle. And overall is right at eight inches. All three knives are pretty much the same, right at eight inches. So uh, 
pretty good, like I said, it's a pretty good size knife and uh, they perform great. I would highly recommend it for a, uh, for a beater knife to just about anybody out there, you know, it, it would make you a great beater knife. So uh, I'll move this rat back off and uh, let's weigh one of these guys. So here's the scales, they're dirty, but they're scales. So let's see. All right, clip point, 3.2 ounces. 3.2 ounces on the clip points. The Tanto is 3.3. .3. So you're looking at about three and a half ounces overall on these knives. So they're good lightweight knives. You can throw them in a bag. You can throw them in, like I said, anywhere you want to throw one. And it would be a great user knife, a great beater knife. Use it when you don't want to mess up your knife stuff. So, uh... <clears throat> That's it for today, uh, the edge retention and my little review over these knives. Uh, if you guys want to see like a toughness test or uh, or whatever on these, I'm down. Um, I think I'm going to send Dave's back unmolested, just test it on uh, cardboard. But the other two, I don't care. We'll do whatever, whatever we want to do with them. So uh, if you guys would be interested in a toughness test on this 4116 steel, just uh, let me know down in the comments and we'll get one done uh and again i highly recommend this for a beater knife if anybody's looking for a good pack knife or whatever yeah they're they're uh definitely worth twenty dollars so uh that's all i got on this one guys thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing let me know what you think of this down in the comments have you ever tried one of these pro lights have you ever tried 4116 uh would you be disgusted at that HRC range or uh, or whatever? Uh, let's let's talk about it. Uh, I enjoy talking to you guys, so uh, so leave me some good comments. And uh, that's it for today, guys. Thanks. I'll see you on the next one.